is singing. Is that... <laughs> 7-Eleven, is that you out there singing Gavin Bigger? Man, I heard Thomas T. Tesla out there. <clears throat> I heard Thomas T. Tesla out there. I think I heard 7-Eleven out there. I think he was singing. I think that cat and Bigger was singing. Sorry about the feedback, man. My headphones are messed up and... So got it. I gotta get that fixed. Anyway, what's going on in the world of sound? Forty forty great shaky's getting on down. Yeah, hello three five seven. Yeah. I knew I heard you out there, Thomas T. L-O-T-357, 4040, Great Shakey's Ring Bang. All right, 357, doggone it, good to hear you in there this morning. Yes, yeah, talking old Triple Deuce in Illinois. He was uh, he was actually starting to put some numbers on me, so I'm guessing uh, Mother Nature's kind of slowly creeping my way, slowly creeping. Oh man, now I get a 21. Uh, hang on, I'll be back. Seven. All right, hey, 4040, 40, 
Lake, no pain, no strain. I heard you talking to my friend back behind me, 504, which I can hear him in my radio. <laughs> well, he's talking to you, right? That's something. He's about probably 70 or 80 miles away from me. I'm not sure, but he's way back there. I'm about four counties. Oh, 40, 40, sounding good while we're trying to nurse this dog on a messed up throat. 357, leave it. Ah, 357. Yeah, man. <laughs> My son just had, had a throat infection or ear infection into his throat, and he had to do the whole antibiotics thing and all that. But uh, I hope you get better. And yeah, that man, uh, 504, I've been talking to him every day, bro. Been talking to him every day, man. He's got a real smooth station, got a great big hammer. I'm surprised uh, you can't hear him, but you said he's four counties away. Yeah, he's uh, he's got him a real smooth talking station there, Roger. Yeah, Roger. Boy, and that got a whole bunch of them turn all the way off. Take a little weight off of these things. Hello, 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 hello. Excuse me for being so rude. I was just taking a little weight off of somebody. Mr. OFF, downtown, beautiful Mobile, Alabama, back listening. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Off. Mm, Lord have mercy. <laughs> you say you're taking the weight off? Doggone, man. Man, they call you OFF because you're cutting off radios left and right. But uh, hello to you, 65. Waving a hand to you, homeboy. 44 degrees, shakies, right back. Tell all you busy, party, party. I'm going to quit being rude. I'm going to sit back and get a little education from this old radio. They call that rude. Standing by listening. Maybe I'll learn something. All right, Mr. Op. The wife's calling me. The wife's calling me, and I got to go again. Lord have mercy. I don't care what they say about you. Boy, if I ain't got some heat on Mother Nature this morning, it ought to be against the rule book what I'm doing this morning. Mr. OFF with this great big old modified med unit in the off position, somebody's radio is just turned all the way off. Take a look at me now. Talking to around the Golden Gate. Hey, uh, six five. Who calling you? Yeah, Mother Nature won't let me hear about four five of them big strap over there, now, and I couldn't understand a thing. Do you keyed up, Roger? All right, OFF. I'll get back quiet so you can give me some names. I'm gone. Oh, ten. I'm back listening. I Hey, 
Sorry about that. Man, my 21 keeps ringing this morning. Everybody want to know if I can hear them. If I can hear you, I will talk to you. That's my rules, man. People quit calling me and asking if I hear you. If I hear you, I'll talk to you on the damn radio. Lord have mercy. I ain't out here mud ducking no one. I got the video gate rolling. This poor video here. Is old me on the phone. Put on your leader. 40, 40, great shakies, get down. Hey, 40, 40, Red Mustang saying good morning. I'm going. Hello, Red Mustang. That's how you talk to me. You just keep the microphone and talk to me. I hear you. And I call you back. <laughs> Hello to your Red Mustang. 40, 40, great shakies, right back. Hi, Red Mustang. Watch out, because you got a cotton picker getting in your passenger seat. Watch out, cotton picker. I might have a switchblade in his back pocket. I don't want him to cut your seat up in that Red Mustang. Watch out for that 357 around Tennessee. Thomas T. Tesla. <laughs> but uh, good to hear you, Red Mustang. And hello, 357. Your homeboy on the West Coast, the host with the most on the West Coast is right back. All right, 40, 40. Hey, 40, 40. Hey, right man, Coyote's putting weight on old uh, 357. You were talking to Red Mustang. Yeah, come on. Who's that putting the weight on 357? Dan, Thomas T. Tesla, somebody was keying in there asking me, uh, 4040, can I put weed on 357's back? But uh, I didn't get his 28. But uh, boy, all right, Thomas T., you sounded good, looking good, old red Mustang. Boy, it's good to get them boys back in here. That's when I know the band's starting to open up a little bit and start getting red Mustang. And then I'll start getting them boys in Nebraska. Old 427. I have to give that boy a call and tell him to turn his radio back on and see if we ain't making it out that way. Y'all take care. 4040. Great shaky. Man, what is this? Did you find mommy's Halloween candy? Oh boy. I'm going to get in trouble here. He found mom's Halloween candy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Let me get let me get back in the bushes, man. I got a feeling I'm gonna have a long day today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as you was talking, Mr. OFF, I was opening a couple pieces for myself. 
I figure if we gonna get in trouble, we all going down. <laughs> and now I just point at the kids, you know what I'm saying? The kids did it, baby. <laughs> they eat all that candy. Why you got that big old sweet smile on your face? Smile for a full thing. He is talking in the back. Yeah, I look like a Chinese. You just got busted, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> Roger on that, man. I love my candy, too. Don't get me wrong. I always got to have some little sweets around the radio room. You know what I mean? Every now and then, you get to, you get to have a couple of little sweet things around. Oh, I mean candy, of course. Of course, I'm just talking about candy now. I like peppermints that time myself. But I'll take a Babe Ruth and a minute and I'm gone now. <laughs> Bo-10 on the Babe Ruth. Those are good. I like those paydays. I like those paydays. Those are good, man. They're good. All right, let me, uh, let me sit back, man. It's, uh, it's good to hear you in there, 6'5". Hey, 6'5", you ever check out some of my uh, video gates I do on YouTube? Roger. Yes, sir. I'm going to lay this one on you. Can't, you're going to get a laugh out of it, too. I love them baby rules since I got these snowball teeth, Roger. <laughs> I hear you, man. I hear you. Ooh. Boy, I tell you. Yeah, I love I love I love Babe Ruth too. I always love that uh, movie, man. Uh, what was that? Caddyshack. When all the kids, someone opened a Babe Ruth and it went in the swimming pool and they had to drain all the water and all the kids were running out. Thought it was a thought it was a log. <laughs> then he looks at it, grabs it, sniffs it. The pool's empty, and then he bites it. <laughs> I love that scene, man. I love that scene. Roger, Roger. Roger. All right, then, Rascal, I'm going to get back out of here and get my D's over on his YouTube and do a little look a little later on the day show app. Good morning to you. Say good morning to the good time game. Mr. OFF and Dixieland, I'm listening. So, Dan, all right, Mr. OFF. Take care, my brother. Real good copy. Real good copy. Boy, you are uh, really hurting this little COVID-29. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll have this posted up in just a little bit. I'll make a few today, I'm sure. But, uh, Mr. OFF, take care, my brother. Love, peace, and happiness. Tell the fine family we said la di daddy from the Golden Gate Bridge. I'll see ya. I'm going to take our time to tell everybody I'm back listening. Yeah, come on, 302. What's going on, homeboy? I'm not going to cut him off. I'm going to let him go this morning, Roger. Roger, Roger. All right, you want to cut you waving a hand. He waved a hand already at you. He said he wasn't going to cut you off to. He said he wasn't going to cut you off today, so... uh Lord, it's going to be a good day, Captain Big. It's going to be a good day, 302, your homeboy, right back. Oh, dear. Yeah, he's a bad Captain Big. Mm, I'm glad I don't live next day. It's muddy mouth Captain Big. He'd cut me off. Hey, uh. What was I going to tell you? Hey, have you seen the, the Watergate page there on uh, Facebook? Yeah, check it out, man. I don't know how long it's been up. Old, uh, what's his name? Sent me a link there, old Belly Acre. And so I'm, uh, so I'm in there now, too, man. I'm checking it out. You got you to gotta hear that one local Watergate we had going on down here. We were doing a key down, and we got a we got everybody's got a local drunk guy, but unfortunately we we got like twenty of them. But uh, <laughs> it's pretty funny, man. He was getting upset that he wasn't beating nobody up. A guy on a 747 beat him up, dude. This is no lie. Now check this out. I don't think this ever happened in key down history. 
This is Key Down History Month. <laughs> We're going to have Key Down History Month. This Ken Miggett was on a 747. He works at the airport, and he, they got the Collins radios in there. And he was keying from an airplane on the tarmac. And homeboy's on a hill on his base station. And I, I, I was like, oh, yeah, because we were having all the, everybody keying against each other. I was like telling him, because he was getting whooped by everybody. So my buddy's in the 747. And I said, come on, I have you key against the 747. Of course, it's not in the air, just sitting on the tarmac. And he whooped his butt. So for the first time in history, I think a 747 keyed out a man on a big base station. I 